Hello everyone, I'm Fritz and nice to see you again. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to use Wago plugin at Kabula 750375 with backup Trinket uh, backup IPC C6920 that with Trinket runtime inside to configure plugin and network. And in this tutorial, the plugin IO controller will be my IPC backup IPC and the PN device will be my Wago Kapur. I hope you learned my tutorial and let's start. So first thing, as I mentioned before so many times, if you use, would like to config a Provena network, you need a GSML, GSTML file and this file is provided from the manufacturer. And you can download the GSM file from the manufacturer website. In my case, it's Wago. So what you do is just search 750 B75 and go to this page and then click the downloads and then download the DY description files. Then you need to do is import this description file to your engineer tube set for your uh, um IO controller. For example, Siemens, you need to import to TI Porter. Cooks is just you import your Cooks idea, and in our case, I'll import my GSD ML file to Trinket. It's the same theory. So, here is my project. After you download the GSN GSD ML file, just copy the file to the C Trinket 3.1 config IO and Povinet. And then you can start the Trinket to start to config your. Uh, I'll say to convert your approving net network. Okay, so here's my Trinket project. Go to IO, right click, approving net, right uh, device, add device, and choose approving net IO controller. And here is after you choose the approving net IO controller, that you can choose what which interface is connecting to as your approving net IO controller. In my case, it is, uh, I think, this one. Let's search it to adapter. Okay, so it's the wrong one. Let's go search it and then choose other one. So this one is the port that I am connecting to the Provin Net uh, to the Wago Provin Net Kapura. And then the next thing, one is need to create, we may create a task just for your Provin Net network. In my case, I choose special single line task, create new IO task, just press OK, and then done. No need to do. And here's the setting. The setting is the IP address of your Povinet IO controller and your Povinet controller name, station's name. And here, I just keep it in default. I will not convert here too much in here. Okay, just save it. And then your next step is you need to add your Povinet IO device. In my case, Wago. Let's right click and add new items. After you import the GSDML file, you should find the Wago subject object in here, IO, and just choose the GSDML file. And press OK. Now the system importing is the Wago plugin that I will put it. And here there's so many versions, so many devices in here. So which one that should I use? I can just slow down and um, in here, because I'm using firmware 08, so I'm just sure 750 P75 version 0.05 FW08. That's OK. And then the plugin that Alcabura is insert conflict in your system. So our next step is you need to convert the IP address. So in my case, just put a random out here and just activate the station name as you if you want. As I mentioned before, that probably that the IO controller you depends on what depends on your IO um, device name and then to assign the IP address to each I um, net IO device. Okay, so I that the uh, Wago controller here, uh, Wago controller here, so, and then I can add the subslot. Okay, so let's open it, go to API. Now in, I have a term, term one, is DAP module, and I can just 
select the API, right click, add new items. So here is the device completion screen, and I will add the slot one by one. So the first one is digital module in here. Oh, I'll show you the camera again. Here is the digital module in here. And the module number, you can just search to find the module number. So we can open the digital input modules. And in my case, it's 750, 1417, 1417. Okay, here, I can just double click it. So the slot one is this 750-1417 module. Then I can just do the same operation to add all module. The second one is digital output. The first 750-1516 is in my case. 1516, double click it. And then the third one is analog output module. Let's go click here. 750597. And then the last one is in the analog input modules is uh, 750471 I think yes yes sure here okay done now I insert all module in my uh, conversions so I just close it and uh, here's some setting I would like to show you that is um, you go to terminal 5 and then go to sub sub term and then go to parameters module. So uh, if you use the analog module, you have so many parameters you, you should need to set. For example, the input range is um, what kind of signal that you want to choose. You need to measure the current or uh, the voltage. And if you use measure the current, so what's your range, the measure range, for example, is zero from zero to 20 milliampere or four to 20 milliampere or something. So in this case, you can configure the parameters of each module in this page. For example, in here it is analog input module. So I just go to parameters module and specific the module channel parameter, a index 2000. And I can find all the parameters that I need to set in here. So in here, uh, you can find AI instant one at connector one and five. So it mean connector here one and five is the channel one, the parameter of channel one. So now in my camera, I'll show you again. I am connecting to the channel two here, right? This is a an, uh, analog simulator so I just go to slow down here then you find AI instant to add connections to N6 that's what I need to configure so just slow down a bit so here is a very important parameter score sing, uh, signal type the default is 4 to 20 milliampere and just select it and then choose 0 to 10 volt done just save it so what can we do now? We can just download the conversion again, plus active formations. Yes. And then reset your trinket system. Okay, great. So now you can see in here, I download my conversions in my uh, in my Trinket CPU, and I might open my camera again. Now you see there's no error in here. My Trinket CPU is in run conditions. Now the Poppy net network is done. You can check it by using the um, by open the device one, and then go to input, go to device status. Now it's zero, it means no error inside here. Then PNIO error, so zero, no error. And the BIO data gives you also no error. And for each Bovinet IO device, you can go to input of your each Bovinet IO device. Just browse the inputs. And the first one is zero, it means no error, the PN box status. 
the first one is BNIO box. Dynamics is two. Two is mean ICO AR is excluded. It's mean the connections between your Bovin net and this um, Bovin net IO device is okay without any error. Okay, so the first step is done. Now we can create the PLC program just like uh, just to make some simple program to operate this uh, coupler. Standard PLC, right click, get new items, choose standard PLC, and then just wait a second, boom, okay, PLC is great. Just the first thing I'll create a DUT. DUT is data unit types. This means a structure that can use to group sub uh, servers of variables into one variables. Let's right click that DUTs, then I give a name, a, uh, a channel. H A N E R channels. Okay, inside channels, what I need to do, I can just C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8, and then all the way it as bit. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, done. And then we now we can create a GVLS global variable labels to create some variables that can link between our user program and process IO. Right click at GV editor and then just enter the name all you want. That's okay. And then HVL is created here. So what you need to do, I can just uh, slot one is uh, the UT channel, right? A, a channel, a channel, a uh, channel, yes. And then slot two is same here, the UT channels. And then slot three, Okay, so for slot three, it is a eight channel of analog input, and for the slot four is four channel of analog. It's eight channel of analog output, and here's four channel analog input. So I just go here to define its array, A R A Y, channel one to eight, uh, one to eight, of what of I N T. Then for slot 4, let's do the same thing. And uh, A R R A A R R A Y 1 to 8 of INT. Okay, so done. And then we will, because after we define these variables, we would like to define this variable can be linked to the process IO. What can we do? We need to add a keyword at Present i stomach. It means this variable will be a process input. So let's do the fourth one. And then for the slot two is at present q stomach. It means this variable will can be operate as a process output. So let's do the same thing here. Okay, done with q, right? No, i. Okay, after that, we can create a program. Okay, just uh, put it here and then you to easy to see. Okay, so the first one, and it's uh, after you open here that you can see that it's a, a jumper in the first channel. So it means now this version is true. And here I have a bottom in here, then I plus here. You see the channel three will be turned on also. I'll use these two signal to trigger the lamp of this uh, push button. In here you will see the output is connecting to uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. I think it's connecting to here. Here, this one. This channel, this channel, this thing is channel uh, channel one, two, three, four, channel four. Okay. So let's start. I just create a timer. Make some T on. Okay. T on, T on. And uh, T on in is uh, 
gbl, right? gbl dot slot one dot c1 and gbl dot slot one dot c3. And then pt is the preset time. I will set it as uh, t sharp one second. Okay. And then uh, I will trigger the output, right? So let me count the output. Channel again, channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four, channel four. Okay. And then I can just uh, channel four, right? GVL dog slot two dog channel four is equal to T on dog Q. Okay, done. And then we can check this unlock input and output now. I will uh, create a set point. Set point, set point, S A I N T, and a current value, S A view. Okay. And then for the slot, I can just slot three, and then just check which channel that I'm, oh, which channel that I'm connecting to. Uh, channel one, two, three, four, five, channel five, right? Just here, channel 5 is equal to set point. Okay. And then finally, let's get the current value, right? Current value is equal to, so let's check again which channel that I'm using for. It's this one, right? Channel 1, channel 2, channel 2. Okay. I will change the value from integer to real in the flow number first. So it's the mean I need the int to real, right? To real. Then it's channel 2, right? So gvl dot slot 4, 2, okay? Then after, after I change it to real number, I can just uh, delete 32767. It means this is 10, the maximum value. Okay, and then give it a uh, okay, give it here, and then uh, finally I change it to 0 from 10 volt, let's multiply 10. Done. Okay, so program is done. The next step we need to build our project, we'll build and build solution, build your project, and then finally we can map this data to our process side. Go to terminal 2 and then sub item input and then uh, digital input right click change name and then you will select the variable inside GL if the data type is totally same totally same. Okay just do the same thing for output and uh, right click change name Select the variables and go to select uh, channel 3. And here just select all data, right click, change multiple link, and choose slot 3. And finally go to input, select it, right click, change multiple link. Why? Okay, because I write some wrong thing. 1 for 8, for no, no, for 8 for 4. Okay, just go to build again. I hope uh, okay done. And right click. Okay, just select again. Right click, change multiple link. Okay, you can select all this one data. Save it, and then down into your program. It should work, I think. Okay, we set your system into run mode. And then uh, now you can log in. Yes. And then to the run mode. Right, now we see some data in here. I would like to show you the program and the camera, camera in the same time, then you can see what happened here. Okay, here is my camera. I will just put it a bit small. I hope you can see it. 
and uh, here here you should okay you can see it now right because now the channel the first channel is turning on right now i use the push button you can see it push it one second oh you can see the the push button is turned the lamp is turned on this is it works okay and then i will second one i will try the analog output i just turn on my tester again now you see root and here i just for example uh give it a half or for thousand something we should output around five five v something okay check the camera again you see now it's five volt and then if i if the maximum value now it's 10 volt done okay finally we can check the analog input so we can do in here is sorry we can uh, uh, we use this road okay you can see now it's around 1.1 v um just getting correct let's do it now it's around 5.4 something okay the communication is okay and i think here is very 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 simple tutorial after you see that you can know how to config a bobbin that now device with trinket and if you have trouble with the bobbin that that for example cannot connect there's some hints that i can tell you the best thing is you need to choose a correct gsd ml file it's very very important if you don't choose don't select a true a correct gsd ml file you cannot operate you cannot operate it you cannot connect it even and the second one is the ip address and also the device name is correct or not and you also need to map it correctly okay and finally don't forget to enter the license i think that's all i hope you like this video and i hope i can see you next time so see you next time everyone if you like my channel please like it share it and send my video to every people that you like okay that's all and bye bye oh